want to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the Shear this evening. <clears throat> Dear Barry Solomon, has sponsoring a memory of his grandmother. As well as thanking William Solomon, <clears throat> sponsoring as well. We have Barry sponsoring a memory of his grandmother, Cecile, has Sefer Ziso Bas, Pinyam and Zev, Allah Shalom, and William is sponsoring Lilo Nishmas. Zev Ben Avram Tzvi. I want to thank as well Anita Shapiro sponsoring. Aschus the Elias and Hashem of Hanig Bas Avram Dov. Allah Shalom. All the Halig and Hashem should be zachat to a tremendous and continuous Elias and Hashem. Gan Eden Shamay la Mechayel Achayel Mirtasha. I mentioned this vart in the past. Shlomo Lawrence writes it in the Sefer B'Mechitzasam that Ravili Meir Bloch, Azechat Zalik Levrocha, one of the Tells of Rosh Hashivas, and the first Simchas Taira had dancing in Tells Yeshiva in Cleveland. He was dancing Lebedek with the Sefer Taira in one Talmud. I mustered up the courage, Rebbe Torah Hivalomanani Tzorach, how is it Bechlal Shaykh that you're Besimcha? Are you in the Koro Sheshiva Ramoto Katze Chatzadig Levrocha? He turns to the Elmei Abloch and he says, How is it Shaykh that the Rosh Sheshivas are dancing? They lost their wives, they lost their children. How is it Shaykh that you're Besimcha? There's no way Rosh Sheshiva you could possibly be Besimcha right now. And the Rosh Hashiva responded, said the power of a Yid is that a Yid can experience more than one emotion simultaneously. And it's a hard trace back already to a blaze of Gordon that tells the Rosh Hashiva, Havel Meyabloch said that uh, there isn't a moment that goes by that I don't think about the tragic death of my wife and children in Europe in the Holocaust. But at the same time, at Simchas Torah, and I can rejoice with the Torah Kedosh, and it's not a stira because a yid has the capability to experience more than one emotion simultaneously. Now, Laser Gordon brought a raya from the well known Gemara. And Miguel and Sanhedrin, that the Malachi Asharis, when Klaus all crossed the Yam, Bixha Malachi Asharis Lomar Shira, and the Abister says, Masa Yadin Tobayam, and you want to sing Shiro when my handiwork is drowning in the city. How is it Shaykh to be happy? What it's the Havamina that you want to sing Shira? Ah, Frank the Blazer Gordon, I said Klaus all, how can Klaus all sing Shira? And the answer of Blazer Gordon explained, and on his heels, or they may have blocked him, tells as well that the Malach has only one Shlichus that it has the ability to carry out at any given moment in time. And likewise, a Malach Mamela can only manifest one unique emotion at any given moment in time. A human being can experience dual emotions, even a dichotomy of emotions raging within. Hayyid has the ability to express, to manifest different opposing, contrary emotions swelling up inside. He can have both at the same moment in time. Klayasol had the ability to break out in Shira. And the Shechin is only Sharim at Simcha. They went to Gavaldi and stayed at Simcha Mitzad Echad. And Mitzad Shini, and it wasn't a contradiction. Mitzad Shini, the Taka felt the sorrow of Masa Yon and Tobayam. And they were mourning the loss of the Abishter's handiwork. Indeed, they were mourning the loss of those nefarious Egyptians drowning in the sea. And it's not a stira because a year can experience more than one emotion simultaneously. And of Elamir Blanc, born Araya, from the Medrash at the end of Ayera, we all know how Ramavino is 10th Nisayin, according to Rashi, the Raman based in Perkin Laws, according to Rabbi Yona. And all this, hey, Gimel was Nisayin number nine, but Akedis Yitzchak, everybody knows how Ramavino passed the Rosh Hashanah, he passed it with flying colors. Stayed the Medrash, he was crying every second throughout. He was shedding tears while he was in the midst of performing Akedis Yitzchak. 
conflict and they they walk to which one is it? He passes the Nisayan. And at the same time, he's shedding tears. Tears cascading down his face. A father they were. He was a father who was a Yiddish Tata for his son Yitzchak. How could he withhold the tears? And yet, what do you write? He passed the flying colors because it's not an oxymoron. It's not a steerim in Ayabai. Mitzan Hechad, he was crying every moment in time. And Mitzan Shani, he was rejoicing that he had this golden opportunity to carry out the Rats and Abori, the Rats and Hashem Yisborach. It was not at all a stira. And thus, of El Bloch turns to this Talmud and says, It's not a contradiction. I'm not forgetting about the loss of my wife and my children for one moment in time. And I'm crying tears every second that I'm dancing. And at the same time, there's plenty of place in my heart to feel the joy of a Simchas Taira, to cradle and to hug a safer Taira. And in my head, in my bosom, and I'm not thinking about taking ounce, one ounce away from that Simcha Satira, could experience more than one emotion simultaneously. That's what Avram Avinu implanted and ingrained into our DNA, our core mahos, our essence. He gave it to us like he gave us the Kayach and all the other Nisyonos. Be'asor Nisyonos and Sasa Avram Avinu. He ingrained and inculcated within our hearts and our minds the same idea as well. A yid can be crying and can be rejoicing at the very same moment in time. And who better to teach us that than Fiyaniya Saiti than Rabbi Akiva? well-known Gemara, the end of Marcus. Uh, Marcus, the end of the third parak. Hey, Louis, how Halokin, the Gemara concludes, Akiva Nechantano, Akiva Nechantano, on the heels of two different Demaisim. And now Sochner says, the Kfeila Salosh and Akiva, Rabbi Akiva gave us Nechama. Maisin number one, the Gemara relates, Maisin number two. And what was Maisin number two? They passed by the Kodesh HaKadosh and Rabbi Akiva and his illustrious colleagues. And they see Shualim Hochmo, the lowly foxes, scurrying through the debris of the Mokam Amitash, the Kodesh HaKadoshim, about which the Tyrus and Azar Korav Yumas. And now Shualim Hochmo and the colleagues were all crying. He was laughing. So to Hale Gamar Shof and Art and Masha writes, Avada they saw the Mokama Mikdash Bukhobono, Ah that's Machaiva my Sakriya, he had to rend his garments. Avada Rabbi Akiva was crying. So to Masha, Vada Rabbi Akiva had to tear his clothing. It's a halochala maisa. Yeah, you see the Shuala Mokhabo. And the Mokhabo of the Mikdash for Chaban Avada that obligates one to tear Kriya. And yet, what do you see from Rabbi Akiva? The Galus Rabbi Akiva was. Then in the same moment in time, he took Kriya like his illustrious colleagues. And at the same moment in time, he was rejoicing. He was laughing. He was laughing. The divorce, the prophecies of Ori and Zechariah were interdependent. Now that I see it, see in and now I know the Gula is going to be around the corner of the Zakanim and the Zakanis. And that I'm going to be sitting in the streets of Yishalayim Rakaidesh. I can be crying and tearing Kree on my garments, and at the same time, I'm rejoicing. That's Rabbi Akiva, and you see, I'll be the marshal. He had not two emo, two emotions, a dichotomy uh, that was taking place within him. Abel Charul, let's go to Avodah Zorah, Chafam and Aleph, and there we find the same Rabbi Akiva when he meets up with the wife of Tornus Rufus, state in the Gemara. Rog Sochel Kubocha, he spat on the ground because he saw that this woman, the wife of Tornus Rufus, came from a Tipa Srucha. And Socha can he laugh because Asidul is Gaira by the mitzvah. She was one day going to convert. And this Rabbi Akiva was going to marry her after his first wife Rachel passed away. And one day, yes, he married the wife of Asus Tunis Rufus, his wife number two. And Bokhawai, a high shufra de Bali Bafra. And this exquisite beauty, this beautiful woman, and one day she was going to pass away and was going to be swallowed up into the ground. Here you see the same Rabbi Akiva, not just two emotions, three emotions, spitting on the ground in disgust laughing that she was going to convert uh, this woman, the last one you would ever imagine, even she was going to convert and Rabbi Akiva, the Golda Hador was going to marry her and then he was crying at the same moment in time a high shufru de boli bafra three emotions simultaneously that's Rabbi Akiva Boisai, you heard the news as 
I heard shortly before Mincha, my wife shared with me, tragedy in Meron late at night, a balcony falls as Yidin was celebrating with the Haile Garashbi on his yard sites on Lag Boimer. Balcony falling down, Rahman al Islam casualties. How many families now lost loved ones? How many families now have injured ones? How can we be happy? How can one rejoice and dance in a lot by me? Rabbi Akiva, the Rabbi of the Haile Garashmi, he's the one who taught us. That the same moment in time you can cry and have tears cascading down your face. And you can mourn in a state of utter bereavement and simultaneously. You can still dance around the Madura, it's not a stira. Just like the fire itself is not a stira. A fire that can burn, that can destroy is the same fire that can build, that can purge diamonds of impurities, that can warm, that can heat homes. Fire itself could be and serve various functions simultaneously. And why don't we go back to the famous story of why we're celebrating a log bomber in the first place. We go to Yavomus, the bottom of Samach Beis, Amad Beis. And Agmar shares with us that me Pesach Haratzeres, the Talmidim, Rabbi Akiva, 24,000, the 12,000, Harusa Shafs, the Zugas of Talmidim. And they were all nifter from Mises Asko, the worst of the 903 Mises. They passed away tragically. But they Pesach and Shavuos, when did they die in Lag Boimer? So now they were Nifsuk. The Mises stopped. Fred the Pri So what are you celebrating? You're celebrating that they stopped dying. Well, you lost everybody except for five. Chamisha Shabbatarim or Nusach has seven. Well, have five Chamisha Shabbatarim, but you lost 24,000. Frank the Pichonis, what are you celebrating? Like Momer, they all died out. Terence says they didn't completely die out. Rabbi Akiva had the ability. The Bali and Drusha Marich and this Yasod Rebbe Akiva is the one who taught us how to be positive to always cast an eye towards the future. He lost 24,000 of his Tamidim that he spent decades building. And they weren't Stam Tamidim, they were the Messiah of Tyra Kadesha. And they're the ones who gave us all the Torah we have today. And we lost such Tyra with their tragic demise. Who wouldn't give up? He lost everything he built his entire career. And he didn't surrender, he was not the Miyayish. And Rabbi Akiva was mourning his Taminim, and at the same time, I have five left, Baruch Hashem, they stopped dying along my way. I have five left, I can rebuild. And can you imagine, like my way, that is this man, the Rabbi Akiva, was Yonik, and he was Mechadish, this Indian. And Rabbi Akiva is the one who is laughing when he sees foxes going through the Kodesh HaKadosh. He's crying over the Mokum HaKurban, and he's tearing and rending his garments, and at the same time, he is rejoicing because the gula is around the corner. Gula, I mean, he don't see it yet, but he knows he can rest assured it's coming. Rabbi Sayyid got it from his very own life. What did he see? He lost all 24,000 Tamidim. It's at Echad. Like Baimer, they all stopped and you lost everything. I didn't lose everything. I have five Choshev Tamidim that remained. And I'll rebuild. I'll start anew. I, Rabbi Kiva, is already an elderly sage. I'll stop. Turn my eyesight towards the future. I'll set my sights on the Osset. I want lies ahead, and what's that? I'll rebuild Torah. And he talked, did Ramea, Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Shimon. Come on, San Angel tells us, Kulu, I'll leave it to Rabbi Kiva, all our Torah shall pet today. He rebuilt, and that's like Baimer. And you can have the tragedy of losing all the Tamidim. And at the same time, the Simcha that we're going to rebuild anew, and we're going to continue fighting. Perhaps Lafinia's Daiti, that's why this famous Gemara has in Mesechas Yevamas Badafka Rav Tzadik Akoin Mi Lublin has a cloud Yadua that every Gemara is in Mesechta for a reason. Why is this well known? The whole storyline of Pesach and Atzeres losing the 24,000 Tamidi Rebbe Akiva. What's it doing on Pesach in Yevamas? Mesechta Yevamas? Phineas Daiti, what's Yibam? Yibam is a moment that Ruvain was married to Lamashal Toleya. And they had a marriage, and Ruvain tragically dies. And he passes away, and Leah's left in Amada without any children. 
comes to my Seibam and his brother Shimon comes. And he rebuilds and he takes over in the Rabbana Rabbein Rechai said it's Meusan in the Esod of Gilgal and the Esod of Gilgal Neshamas. He's going to be making Shem Achiv. Imagine you're there at the wedding of a Maise Yibu. Maise Yibu is taking place. Ruvain died. He left no children in this world. No legacy. Who's going to perpetuate the shame? Who's going to remember Ruvain? How long comes Shimon and he marries that widow? And then they have a child. And they continue the name, they continue the legacy of Aruvain. It's a bit of sweet chasana. Mitzanechon, you see Shimon getting married to the young, to the Amon of Aruvain. And what do you see? Oh, he reminds all in the audience, we lost Aruvain. And he passed away from this world, Rachman al he had no children. But along comes Shimon, and Shimon says, What? I'm going to perpetuate the memory, the legacy of my dear brother. I'm going to marry his Ahmona. I'll be making shame of him. Mitzan Echad, we're mourning the past. And Mitzan Shani, there's a new future. There's a new bias. There's a new a platform upon which to rebuild and to continue where Ruvain left off. Shimon will be Mabshech Viter. That's the Yisod of Yibam Lafinius Daiti. That's the story of Lagba Aimer. Lag Bomer is, yes, in the same day we mourn the loss of Lag Bomer. Nifzik Ulamas, we lost 24,000. They finally stopped dying on this day. But the five that remained, we're going to rebuild. And we're going to perpetuate all the Torah of the lost 24,000. We're going to go fight them. We don't give up. I Ruvay left the world. I Ruvay the Paris. He left no children. Shimon's going to marry his Amana. And Shimon will give birth to children. And they'll continue the shame of him. And by say that's a lot by there. Five Tamidim that remain. And they continue Torah's Rabbi Akiva. And they take the Torah, the 24,000. And they give us the Torah that we have today. A day that's filled with tragedy. It's so Simultaneously filled with promise and sending sights towards the future. And now we can rebuild. That's the whole union of Lag Boimer. That's Rabbi Akiva's Yontif. That's the power of Shem Ben Yechai. Shem Ben Yechai lost all of his Chaverim, all of his Yedidim. He lost everybody. But he didn't give up. He set his sights towards the future. And he cried and he mourned. And at the same time, they went and they rebuilt. That's for Shimon Echai, that's the Koch of Rabbi Akiva. Two contradictory emotions. Three contradictory emotions. Rabbi said we lost Stephen. Families destroyed tonight. Forever they will never be the same. Lag Boim. But we're going to rebuild. We're going to stop the fires in Klai Yisrael. We're going to stop the animosity. We're going to stop... The Machloikes, the Yesha Machloikes. And replace it with the Yesh that the Shlok Kodesh says, V'ha'i v'es Yaakov the Yesh. The Yesh Rosh HaTavis, Av and Sholem, we're going to replace the Yesh Machloikes. And Mount Hashem, we're going to have a celebration still of what the Lag Ba'imer can give us. And at the same time, we're going to mourn the loss. Klai Yisrael never gives up. We never miyayish and we never surrender. We mourn and we cry and we shed the tears. And we still can rejoice and celebrate Allah Baimer at the same time. The power of a Yid, the power of the Eli Garashbi, the power of his Rebbe, Rebbe Akiva. Let's give Nachasuch to the Boreolim, let's be Masake. All the Yesh and all the Sin and all the Machlaikas once and for all. Let's bring about the Beis Amikdash. That Rashi and Tesis and Sukkim and Malaf Amalaf tell us it's going to come down. Betoch Eish, ah, that'll be the Gavaldic Eish. The Tekken will be an Eish of Av and Sholom. That will bring down a binion by a Shlishi, Betoch the Eish. Mehir of Yameinu, Amein Fiyameinu.